Welcome back, everybody. The Oakland Baseball Notebook. My name is Neil Rule, the broadcast voice of the Golden Grizzlies here with assistant coach Brian Nelson. And yes, I know it's fall. I understand that you're a bit frozen from coming outside in, in the fall activities. <laughs> But Brian, just you know, as as you look at it, you're going into year three of this program. When fall ball starts, that's when that's when it starts, more or less. You know what I'm saying? Sure. But uh, as you come into year three now, uh, just kind of when you look at how things have happened here this quickly, you know, just just take me through your three years here so far. You know, I think uh, well, it's been a it's been an interesting you know ride to, to start with coming from Texas. Uh, you know, when Coach Banfield got the job, and him and I had worked previously together on a staff down in Texas, and so he got the job and. It's kind of funny. I always tell people, we said, hey, man, you know, you want to come to Oakland? And I said, yeah, surf's up. You know, <laughs> said, wrong, wrong Oakland. But, uh, you know, so I had to do my research. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, I was kind of wading into yeah. foreign waters in a sense. So uh, year one, man, expectations were, were pretty loose. You know, we knew going in it was going to be tough. Uh, we had, you know, we were basically facing something that nobody had ever done before. Right. And um, our expectations were pretty high. But we knew it was going to take some time. So year one, we... We really focus on the guts of the program and, um, you know, well, how do we want our program to run? Mm -hmm. And uh, Coach Banfield had, a, you know, he had a plan, he had a vision, and um, it was just our job to kind of keep, keep the, the train on the tracks in a sense. <laughs> and, and we knew there were going to be some lumps that we were going to have to take in year one and, and, and kind of forge through that. And, and uh, we did, and we made it through. And I think the transition into year two was, was really kind of twofold. I mean, the guys that returned from year one, right. You know, like we, we didn't have to spend as much time saying, hey, this is how we're going to do the program and this is how we go about our business. So having some guys that came in with a lot of leadership and experience and then you bring in a new class um, that we felt like was was one of the better classes that 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 this university had probably brought in. And, and we felt like we had to reach out. We, mm -hmm. we really branched out nationally. We've got guys from California, from right. Arizona, et cetera. And, and you bring in some guys and some grad transfers and some and some good talent that we felt like was going to help help bring us to the, to the next level. And, and you know, we had the ball bounce our way um, a lot in year two. That, that was good. Um, <clears throat> did it meet expectations? Did it exceed expectations? Um, I think externally, yeah, I think we, we exceeded everybody's expectations because anytime you do something that's never been done before, it's, it's um, I, I don't think anybody expects that, right? right. But, but I will tell you in-house last year, um, you know, our expectations every single time to, is to win. And every single time we take the field, we, we believe we got a shot to win. So, you know, you take that mentality, and I think we had a group that, that really bought into wanting to be winners. And we bring in another, uh, some pieces that fill that meshed well from a personality standpoint. And, and we kind of, we struck gold a little bit last year. And it wasn't all roses, though. You know, we took our <laughs> lumps, man. We, we, we took some lumps, and, and, and we lost some games that we thought got away from us and probably won some games that we probably shouldn't have. So, you know, that's kind of, that was, that was last year. And, and, and as we move into year three, um, you know, I, I will tell you, the, the transition is, is interesting now. Like, I feel like after, after uh, being able to put together a pretty good year, um, you know, we're not sneaking up on anybody. There's no surprises. And, and now expectations externally, I believe, are matching internally what we, we have. Do you feel that? I mean, just in terms of, we'll call it validation because the results are the results. They're there. Sure. But, I mean, internally, the, the way that you're wired yeah. and stuff like that, you want to validate. There, there's a sense of validation Absolutely. to it, right? I mean, We'd be sitting here lying to you if I, if I said right. any different. Um, you know, I mean, one of the other things, too, is two years ago was Coach Banfield's first year as a head coach. And, mm -hmm. and um, you know, for all of us, you know, we're young staff and – we're trying to do some different things. So validation, absolutely. You know, I wish right. I could tell you that I've got 10 years of proof <laughs> that says the way we, we, we attacked it was, yeah. was going to work every time. But, you know, there was some, there was some uh, uncertainty, I guess, in a sense of, of what is this going to actually produce for us. So, um, yeah, last year provided some validation, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think internally it said, okay, we're doing some things the right way, and it's producing, you know, stats are what they are, numbers are what they are, right. the win-loss record is what you are. And, um, we did some good things, but I think it also last year in our growth process as a staff. I mean, we sat there and said, "Okay, well, you get to 30 plus now. How do you how do you take the next step?" Right. right? And so as we go into year three, that's really what I tell you we've done the most is internally evaluate, you know, the type of players that we're trying to pursue for the next class, <clears throat> and then, you know, what are we going to do? internally we just go about the exact same business that we did last year yeah it was good we'll produce mm -hmm. another fine season maybe 
but how do we actually take the next step to win championships? Because right. that's what we're here for. So that's what I think year three has kind of been about is taking what we've done that we thought worked really well, expand on that, and then let's look at areas that we felt like we didn't do well, and let's let's go and get better at those. So, what about you personally? Kind of kind of leave you with this question sure. because right. All assistant coaches, sure. They, most of them, anyway. They, they want to be head coaches somewhere <laughs> down the road. What, what about for Brian Nelson personally? You know, what? I, how do you see this thing unfold, and where do you want to be? You know, I am. I, I always I kind of told coach, you know, Banfield. That is, 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 you know, I'm here, and I'm at a point in my career where, you know, I want to be a head coach. Mm -hmm. um, most most assistants do, but not all of them. Not do. All you know, them, a no. lot of them really take. You know, they they really love the development, and they love the work, and they love the assistant coach life, and. Um, you know, but I, I think it's important to be where your feet are. And, you know, in this moment, I'm an assistant coach, recruiting coordinator, and I'm going to absolutely do everything I can to be the absolute best at that. And, and I believe that by doing those things and staying focused on the here and the now and trying to win a championship that, you know, if I'm, if I'm meant to be a head coach, an opportunity will present itself and I'll get that opportunity. And, and if it's the right one, then, then, you know, we'll talk about pursuing it. But I am, uh, I, I love being a part of a winner. I think it's extremely important. Um, you know, I think there's a, we, work, we work a lot. Everybody in this profession works right. a lot, and we put a lot of hours in, and everybody involved puts a lot of hours in. If I'm going to do that and we're going to bust our tails, then, then May as well win. I want to win. And, <laughs> and so I'm, I, you know, winning is an, important, is an important part of my DNA, and, and so being a head coach is, is, is something I obviously want to do, but, but I want to do it in the right situation. That's... You know, that's going to be right for everyone so I can go get some dubs. All right, well, Brian, I certainly appreciate you giving you us bet. the opportunity to sit down with us. For Brian Nelson, my name is Neil Rule. Thanks for checking out the Oakland Baseball Notebook.